Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Medita and today I am doing an unboxing video of a book mail. This video, however, is going to be cut up into many, many different sections and different days because I am not a person that can wait like 30 days so I can unpack 70 million packages in one day. I can't do that. I, I don't have the patience for that. When I see a package, I need to unpack it, okay? I'm just gonna unpack it every single time in front of the camera and then cut it all together and post it for you all so you can see what I got in October. I, for you today, have four packages that arrived yesterday and today. So I'm gonna start off with my Medium Ops package because I ordered these myself and I'm very excited to see the quality of these books. So let me just unpack it somehow. Ugh. This is always so, oh, I'm so stupid. I wanted to pull the tape off, but there's this little thing. Oh my God, yes, I'm so excited. Okay, oh, this one is tiny. Okay, I first got Bear Town by Frederick Backman. I got this for, I'm pretty sure $2. So I wanna see, the quality's pretty good. It doesn't even have a broken spine. This one looks really nice. Oh my God, look how flappy it is. I love flappy paper bags. Baritone is a small town in a large forest. Seems like an aesthetic I want to live in. So Baritone is about the small town that keeps shrinking every single year because it's very isolated and the young people obviously always move away. Apparently something happens and then it divides the town into two separate regions or sections. I'm very excited. Ooh, okay, wait, the first chapter. Late one evening towards the end of March, a teenager picked up a double-barreled shotgun, walked into the forest, put the gun to someone else's forehead and pulled the trigger. This is the story of how we got there. That is very interesting and very intriguing. So I am very excited to read this. And the second book I got is also by Frederick Backman and that's My Grandmother Send Her Regards and Apologies. Do you see how small this book is? That's kind of funny. And this is about this girl named Elsa whose grandmother leaves her mysterious letters and she is, I guess, reading them and going on adventures through her grandmother's stories. So this seems like a very comforting story and like heartwarming, very excited. And then I got Renee Watson, Love is a Revolution. And I know this is about self, like finding yourself love first and then falling in love and being in a relationship. And that's something I need to do. So this sounds very exciting. It's a YA book. The most radical thing you can do is love yourself and each other. Oh, okay, so okay, so this book is with Nala and Ty. So Nala has kind of crush on this guy named Ty. And then Nala lies to try to impress him. Anyways, it sounds pretty good. And then I'm guessing these are the different stages they go through. So like they get to know each other, then they hold hands, then they they're in love and then they break apart. Sounds pretty interesting. Very excited to read this. So, and then last but not least, I got A Discovery of Witches because I'm trying to get back into witches and like darker books and fantasy. Oh, I hate that stuff. Look, it's a non peelable sticker. Anyways, A World of Witches, Demons, and Vampires, a manuscript which holds the secret of their past and the key to their future. Diana and Matthew, The Forbidden Love and the Heart of It. Sounds really good. And this is, this is what it says here, ready? It begins with absence and desire. It begins with blood and fear. It begins with a discovery of witches. Mm, sounds pretty good. And I got this also for like $2, so the spine's pretty broken. This looks like something I would read in Switzerland, you know, on a cold evening. So these are the four books I got on Mini Mops. And now let's see what these three packages have inside. I know that these two are from Sourcebooks Publishing because they always send me books in this type of packaging. So let's just unpack it. Ah, it's sticky. It's a thriller. Where is Miley Hayes? How do you open this book? Oh, I don't know if this is how you open it. How do you open this? Oh, okay. I'm stupid. There we go. There are stories about the woods around Salvation Creek and about the people who have gone missing. Okay, okay. So people have gone missing in the forest and I'm guessing teenagers now investigate why and how. I like, oh my God. I like how this is designed with like pages. This is pretty cool. <gasps> Look, it's like with interviews. Okay, that's one pretty interesting. Very excited for this. Thank you, Sourcebook Publishing. And then I'm guessing this one is a book like that too. Ooh, it is. Welcome to the Arcadia. Once a luxurious cruise ship is now home to the stranded. For 40 years they have lived and died on the water. No one is allowed to disembark ever. Oh my gosh. Ooh, wait, there's like this sticker I got with it. So it's a dystopian book with a rebellion, three POVs, drones, apocalyptic war, and a cruise ship. That sounds pretty cool. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it says on here that you're no longer allowed to read in public. How are you gonna be a main character then if you can't read in public? That sounds kind of rude. Ooh. Anyways, very excited to read this too. And then we have a last package by a guy named Chris. 
Oh my god, wait, I know what this is. Oh my god, it's so pretty! So this is Mad Honey by Jody Picoul and Jennifer Finley Boylan, and this comes out on November 15th. Look at the cover! This is so pretty! Ugh, a floppy paper bag, like always. Can the church just like not ring for a second? Okay, since the church is not gonna stop ringing, I'm just gonna talk over it. So basically this book is about Olivia who fled an abusive marriage and went back to her hometown with her six year old son back then, Asher. Now Asher is an 18 year old guy in his last year of high school and she thinks nothing can go wrong, but then her son Asher is arrested for killing his girlfriend. And when the case starts building up against the son, more secrets come out about Asher and she noticed that she didn't even know her son that well. She has has to finally start opening up about her past because it relates to apparently what Asher did or what Asher didn't do. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, Thank you, Hotter and Stroughton, for sending me this book. I'm very excited to read this. These are all the books I unpacked today. We have seven books. I hope they can all find a space on my shelf. Um, I'll see you all again when I unpack my next package. I should have waited like a half an hour to film the first clip because guess what just arrived? A package. And this one is from Talia. Let's unpack this package. I love that sound so much. It's the sound of glory. Yes. So in here we have Honey Girl. So this book is about Grace and her wife, Yuki. And Grace is in New York City and is able to ignore all the questions about her future and what she wants to do in her life. But then something happens and Grace must face what she's been running from all along. Very excited to read this. And then the second book I got is Anxious People. I wish there wasn't this stupid sticker. This is the one for nine euros and the American one is always like 15. So why would I buy that? I'd rather have the stiff paperback. So this also by Frederick Backman who wrote Bear Town. And this is about anxious people and I have social anxiety. So uh, this sounds like something I should be reading. And I kind of like the cover. <clears throat> this book is dedicated to the voices in my head, the most remarkable of my friends and to my wife who lives with us. Okay, let's hopefully see you all tomorrow. Not for another package today because that would be quite embarrassing, honestly. This is the third time I'm filming something about book hauling today because I went to the bookstore today with Vanessa and I bought two books. So they obviously belong in this video. So first is this one that's called Ghost Lover by Lisa Tadeo. This is a collection of short stories. And the first one is about this website called Ghost, Gold, Ghost Lover where teenagers are behind it and they match you up with your soulmate. Then we have something about a politician, a hospital waiting room. Yeah, those are the three that are examples here, but it's nine riveting short stories. And I'm very excited to read this. Also the cover is just super cool. It's an Oyster. And the second book is a thriller that I'm really excited to read. And this is called The Trees by Percival Everett. And this is about killings in a forest and the murder investigation behind it. And with each person that's being murdered, there is a clue to a puzzle. And each clue is another young boy being killed that looks very similar to Emmett Till, who was killed 65 years ago. And then in this bold, sorry, the fucking sticker is here. And then this book also talks about racism and police violence at the same time in correlation to the murders. It's an enormous, powerful, and lasting novel of importance. So this sounds really good. And also the cover is very intriguing. I picked it up because of the cover. So I'll see you whenever I buy the next two books. Okay, so remember how I said I thought I was done for today? I am not. I have three more packages that arrived at my parents' place. Two of these are from this German publisher. So let's unpack these first. It's called Bastille Lübe. See what we have here. <gasps> oh, this is the sequel to a different book they already sent me. This is called Kiss and Crime by Eva Vellam. Um, this is about Pascal and Emily. Oh no! Oh my god, she doesn't end up with Pascal. It says on the back here that she goes on vacation and that her luggage was switched out with somebody else's with stolen diamonds and an angry mafia boss. Is this a mafia romance? What the heck is this? And now the second one, this is the front. Okay, I don't want to break the box because I can reuse it. Ooh, let's see. Okay, I got matcha sent to me. That's so cool. Oh, <gasps> and a brush. I've never had matcha before. <gasps> nice. And then we have the book, which is called From Tokyo With Love. 
Oh my god, this is enemies to lovers between singers. So basically, here's what happens. Haley has two concerts in Tokyo, and the guy who plays like before she comes on stage, I don't know how you guys call that, the pre-performance, they hate each other because apparently Finn has really intense fans and she doesn't like those. And Finn also doesn't like her because Haley is very antisocial and doesn't like humans, and so Finn doesn't like Haley then. Oh my god, this is why I got the matcha, because on the back it says here, while drinking a hot cup of matcha, both of them start talking about their feelings and exchanging secrets oh they also have like music here thank you one publishing for this one too so satisfying oh this is thick there's no cover oh my god Oh my god, I totally did not expect this. Thank you, Hotter and Strout, and holy shit. Wait, that's so cool. Oh my god, Assassin, Immortal, Spy, and code name Fortune. So in 1931, I'm guessing there was an assassin who's immortal. She was brought to the brink of death, and now she cannot die anymore. And then there's a series of murders in Shanghai, and she's trying to find out, I'm guessing, who it is. Then she meets Orion, who is a national spy, and she finds him infuriating, but she's willing to work with him. So basically, people who hate each other having to work together, hashtag force proximity, partners in crime. I love it. Thank you so much, Hotter and Strachan, for this book. I got so many books today. I'm so happy. Okay, now I will definitely see you all tomorrow because there's no way I have anything else left. Good night. Um, we got two new packages. <laughs> these are from Amazon. So let's unpack these two and see what's inside. Oh my god, yes! Okay, The Curious Life of Ada Baker. Ada is this gifted psychic, and she, like, sees ghosts. Yeah, and she's trying to investigate this mysterious death of this woman who was found dead in her bathtub with the help of the ghosts. Very excited to read this. Also, only 313 pages. And then the second one is... I also know which one this is. <gasps> ah! They told us to wait and stay alive. Wilder girls! I've wanted to have this for so long now, and the cover, first of all, is so cool and creative. This is about a school that has been under quarantine for a while. After a while, teachers start dying, and then students start acting weird. So Hetty's best friend goes missing, and then she will do anything to find her. Sounds really interesting. Mystery, quarantine, missing. Everything like that right now is really entertaining to me. Those are two new books I'm adding to my collection. See you soon! Hello, I got three packages today and I, I am going to start with this one which says fragile really big because I know what this is and I've been waiting for this for over four weeks now. I am literally so excited right now. Everybody needs to shut up. I am so excited. Ah! Okay, looks suspicious, doesn't it? Could be a poster, but of what? Ah! It looks great. Oh my God. It's a How to Train Your Dragons poster, and it's made up out of the script of the first movie. This is Burke. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south from freezing the dead. This is gonna look so good in my room. I'm so excited. This is, by the way, also handwritten. That's why I pointed out. That's why it probably took so long, too. We have dragons. It looks so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. My life is complete and I'm so happy now. Okay, now we have this little Amazon package. Yes, it's Soul of the Deep. It's the sequel to Skin of the Sea. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I cried in the last book, so I'm really excited for this. This is what the cover looks like. Yeah, mermaids, human, very much a uh, little mermaid inspired, but with really nice rep and culture in here. So it's really good. Definitely recommend this if you want to read it. This pack was sadly already opened by my mom. Here we have four books by Lauren Halls Anderson. Anyways, I got Speak secondhand. Looks artsy. She's sitting in a box. Speak is about the ninth grade at Merriweather High. And Melinda is an outcast. Her old friends won't talk to her. And people she doesn't know glare at her. If only she could explain, but she just can't find the words. So I'm guessing she doesn't talk. I'll also hint the title Speak. Very excited to find out what this book is about. I kind of know a little bit because I obviously check trigger warnings. And then Twisted is about 17 year old Tyler. And he's an alpha male at the school. And then the girl she, he wants, Bethany, is a victim of a sex scandal, and now everybody suspects Tyler, and he's desperate to find a way out of this mess because he didn't do whatever happened. And then he says, will he have the courage to not take the easy option? Then I got Catalyst, and I wanted to get this because of the cover. It looks like a burnt house, and it apparently has to do with that, because it's about Kate Malone, who's very popular, straight-A student, everything perfect, right? Until everything goes wrong, because Kate's neighbor's house burned down, and now they move in with Kate. Then she's 
splits up with her boyfriend, gets rejected from college, and suddenly Kate is spiraling out of control and something happens that truly blows it apart. Scared, excited, confused. I'm, I'm going to read this and I hopefully will like it. And then we have Shout, which looks brand new. And this is the true story of a survivor who refused to be silenced. And this is about sexual assault survivors. And it's also titled to the For the Survivors. Yeah, this is the story of a girl who lost her voice and wrote herself a new one. Those are the four books by Lori Halls Anderson that I thrifted. So in total today, we have four thrifted books and one new release. So yeah, that's my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time for the next haul. Uh, look who has three new packs! First package is from FedEx. It shipped from Sourcebooks. So thank you, Sourcebooks Publishing. Let's see what's in here. Is this a Christmas present? Yeah, it says Merry Christmas. Are we still gonna open it? Yes, indeed. I got sent, this is so cute. I got sent The Christmas Clash by Suzanne Park. This is what it looks like. So this book is about Chloe and Peter Lee. And together they must keep them all from being sold and torn down. Try getting along, even though they apparently don't like each other. Sneak orders of sesame balls. I love sesame balls! And spicy pork to another without their family knowing. Figure out when their next kiss is going to happen and save Christmas. That's so exciting. My dog is sitting over there. Hello, Nova. Very excited to read this. Sounds like a good rivals or enemies to lovers um, with a little bit of forced proximity because of working together. So that sounds pretty good. Next package is this. I don't know where this is from. Oh my god, that's so cute! It's by Mar Mar Marcia. My sister's name is Marcy, that's cool. And it's called Christmas at the Keep. And it's, I'm guessing, a cute little Christmas story. Oh my gosh. Lulu and her son Oliver are staying at the Keep. Oh, Christmas at the Keep. Duh. Oh, that's a beautiful house, by the way. I want to live there. Are staying at the Keep while they find their feet. Freddie's commission as a naval chaplain has just ended and he's too grateful to have been welcome at the keep. And now Ed, the black sheep of the family, is finally coming home after 10 years of living in the USA. Oh, uh, that's so cute. It's like a family story and like, I need this because I have family issues. That sounds cute. And then we have this box. <laughs> that's not working. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, I can't. Oh, these are fake grade. Ah! Okay, so we have From These Dark Depths by Vanessa Asanen. And then we have On These Black Sands. Ooh, look at the gold sprayed edges. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, so this is the dust jacket art, which these are apparently the two main characters. This is the naked book. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. Ooh, there's a nice map. Okay, this is from these dark seas, also golden spray edges. This is what this naked one looks like. It's a knife on the front. Oh no, it's mermaids. Wait, that's so cool. It's like a rock. Wait, that's so cool. Holy shit, that looks really good. Oh yeah, and now the dust jacket art. So this one, hello Nova. This one has a couple and a dagger. We love dagger scenes. So this is with an abducted captain. Really excited to read these. Yeah, mermaid, kidnapping, captain, evil pirates, good pirates. Those are the four books in today's little haul, I would say. And see you next time. Guess who has a new package? I do. This one is from Fairy Loot, and I think this is my monthly subscription for this month. Um, I don't know what it is because I usually don't check their Instagram because I don't want to be spoiled. But I'm very excited. My night. My darkness. My power! Oh, wait, I think I know what this is. Is this the... Oh, yes, yes! This is These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan. Very nice. Okay, let's get it out of here. Let's see the... Oh, shut up, that's gorgeous. Let's see the naked book for a second. Okay, on the back there isn't anything, but on the front there is a girl who's putting on a crown. Look at that. Okay, so we have this. That's pretty cute. I don't know if you can see, but it's like shiny. And then we have the dust jacket art. Oh, okay. The oh, she's a ginger. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Look at this. The red short hair. And then we have Mr. Silver hair with turquoise eyes and Mr. Dark hair with tattoos and a man bun and silver eyes. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> That's fun. I'm excited to see this. Oh, <gasps> okay. It's a love triangle. So basically, Abriella's sister was sold. That's kind of scary. And now she's in a love triangle. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm guessing these two are fairy men. But she's also a fairy because she has pointed ears. And yeah, I guess it's kind of like about who she chooses. Oh my gosh. Wait, I kind of want to read this now. It sounds really good. Stop it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the that's the one book I have for today. Oh my god, the dust jacket is a bit loose. Wee! See you next time for the next haul. Um, for some reason I never filmed an outro, so here is editing me. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing me unpack all the things I got in October. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe. I hope you all have a great day, evening, nighttime, morning, whatever time zone in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. I think I've said this in my past three videos now. Read Skin of the Sea. I'm telling you, it's amazing, okay? If you like H2O, if you like Ornor Cleor, if you like mermaids, if you like A Little Mermaid, if you like Ariel, please read this book. I'm also currently reading the sequel, so that's interesting. Again, have a great day, happy reading, and see you next time.